Ms. Rachel Long, you can take your two cuts together. Thank you. Chairman, one de key demographic for outreach efforts on defence and security issues is our younger generation, our Singaporeans here. Unlike our pioneer and Merdeka generations, our youth today and perhaps even their parents have not had direct experiences of a Singapore in which insecurity and physical intimidation by external threats was a daily reality. As the future leaders of Singapore, it is important that young people are engaged and understand defence and security issues to gain appreciation of the potential threats we face as well as how these issues affect their lives and the lives of their families. Threats are also different now. Many security threats are now more ambiguous, less tangible and more difficult to understand. This may further disconnect defence issues from the day-to-day -day concerns of our young people, especially having grown up in the context of a prospering Singapore. Our youth have also grown up more socially aware than those of earlier generations, and that's something to celebrate. At the same time, this also means that there's an exposure of worldviews that may potentially fuel divides in civil society where worldviews may be applied without in-depth understanding of the socio-historical background and its larger impact on Singapore society. How has MINDEF engaged young people on defence and security matters? What are some of the initiatives that MINDEF has embarked on to ensure that our next generation remains concerned about Singapore's defence? Chairman, my next cut. Singapore's defence requires not only the effort and the work of MINDEF and the SAF, but the support and involvement of every man and woman in Singapore. For some, defence and security matters may seem abstract, but the reality is that all of our lives would be impacted if Singapore's sovereignty and security were undermined. The war in Ukraine is also a stark reminder of the ongoing need to be ready to defend our sovereignty and not to take it for granted. It is thus critical that Singaporeans of all ages see the importance of defence issues and understand the role that each and every person plays in national defence. In light of this, I believe that it is important for MINDEF and the SAF to make a conscious effort to engage Singaporeans in every demographic from all walks of life and encourage them to learn and care about defence issues, especially during peacetime. Last year, SMS for Defence, Mr. Zaki Mohammad, spoke about MINDEF's efforts to develop creative ways to engage Singaporeans on defence. An example, the Revamp Singapore Discovery Centre. He also shared that MINDEF would take on public suggestions to empower more Singaporeans to learn about defence issues. What are some of these initiatives and how have these outreach efforts progressed? How can we encourage Singaporeans from all walks of life to learn and care about defence issues? and also make these issues more accessible and relatable to the men on the street.